Hello everybody, this is Diane Ty Nailist, and uh, I want to touch on a subject that, um, you know, is long overdue, and uh, it's about um, using filters um, on online, and um, yeah, when I um, created my TikTok channel, I thought it was a lot of fun to use those, you know, filters that just smooth out your face and, you know, make you look like a doll, actually. Um, I'm, I'm rethinking, you know, um, that, um, that, that culture, and I don't know if it stems from the porn culture or, um, you know, just misogyny where, you know, it, there's so many expectations and so many double standards laid on women. And, um, um, I don't see heterosexual men using filters. I see women. So it is still very apparent that, um, appearance is, is everything to women. And, um, and I think many women, including myself, are guilty of that, you know, culture, culture and assuming, assuming that culture and, um, placating that culture um, some of the filters make women look you know like 10 year old girls and that's what's concerning me because to have a doll like face to have a, a baby face um, you know I mean that's akin to you know pedophilia it, it really is and it just sets a standard it sets the bar so very high for women and you know I've seen some really cruel things to you know women who like aren't even like attractive or um, like really old women and people will leave I think it's mostly men that they will leave a comment like Oh, you need Botox. No, 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 no. Nobody needs Botox. That's just absolutely wrong. Um, <clears throat> um, and, and that's another standard that's really, um, you know, impossible to, um, to, uh, I mean, where does it end? <laughs> I mean, is it plastic surgery? Is it Botox? Is it filters? Um, is it, it's woman shaming. And, um, you know, makeup is another thing. I, I even put on a full, full makeup today, which I usually don't. But I was meeting my um, tour guide, and um, last night I just looked awful. I was like tired. My hair was a mess, and um, I just wanted to spruce up today, just so I didn't look like you know some you know worn, worn out American who was you know just sloppy about her personal appearance. But um, yeah. How high is the bar going to be set for women? I mean, it's actually so high now that women cannot, you know, match a filter. They cannot match a Barbie doll's complexion. And men do not have the same uh, standard applied to them. Now, most women, I think, um, they, they like to look good. They like to look in the mirror and they like to apply makeup. They really do. Um, it's fun. It's creative. Um, and you know, it, it's just interesting to, to utilize makeup. And, um, but over and above that, these filters are making women or biology or nature or genetics they're making all of that into a shameful condition I've recently seen some celebrities um, that they said that they were not even going to wear makeup anymore and that they were doing photo shoots without makeup and I think that's a real step in the right direction because um, it, you know, it dispels those myths of, you know, growing old and, you know, being perfect and look, no, but, but that's not reality. And, um, um, <clears throat> so, 
Well, I'm, I'm very concerned about what this is doing to the world, to glo the global world of women. And um, it really is, um, it's crossing the boundaries of um, reality and pedophilia and it's, it's going in that direction. It is, um, it is just raising the bar too, too high for women. And, uh, I don't think there could be any positive outcome of this. Um, TikTok aside, <laughs> um, when you look around, you're not going to find people that look like TikTok personalities. <clears throat> um, they, you know, TikTok filters, they amplify um, certain things that people want. Um, they amplify beauty and big eyes and, um, you know, um, full lashes and uh, thick eyebrows and um, thick hair. <laughs> that was interesting. <laughs> um, and, um, you know, it's not based in reality and, uh, just let's just look around you just you know go to a nursing home yeah you're not gonna see people that you know are filtered and polished and perfected so yeah it's very worrisome for little girls growing up now I mean all generations in my lifetime you know grew up with dolls that were perfect everybody grows up with dolls um, Barbie dolls especially I mean if if that's an ideal it is basically um unattainable and you know a few people in the world have you know tried to mimic the barbie and the kid by you know, getting this extreme plastic surgery but you know it's it's not comparable to the doll humanity is imperfect humanity is very imperfect um we may have you know, stretch to um, obtain certain um, goals or uh, appearance goals, or we may, you know, seek genetic traits that we don't have. Um, well, you know, I tan. I tan my hands. Tan my. So yeah, that that's a genetic uh, trait that uh, you know. I attain, I stretch my boundaries to attain a, a darker skin because I love brown skin. Um, and, you know, but it's kind of natural, I guess, because your melanin, you know, is brought out by the exposure to the sun. But young girls of today have so many, um, like, you know, aspirations in the, in the beauty department and, um, it's just unattainable and they will grow up as preteens and teens and young adults and middle agers looking at themselves as um, inferior and um, it's it's quite superficial and um, it's very alarming it's very alarming and um, sadly I think you know the airbrushed images which are getting worse actually I mean just the airbrushing is just so extreme and I've made a video on this I made a video on, uh, years ago about it was a woman's magazine that sold clothing and all of the white women were so brown they I mean it was even a level of tan that's unattainable um, so uh, you know I just want to send a message out there to you women who are trying to attain this perfection. Um, I think you should amplify a trait that you have, um, regardless of the rest of your features looking perfect. I mean, you know, you may be grossly overweight, but you may have the, the most beautiful nose in the world, or you must, must, might have the most beautiful lips. And amplify that trait you know put some gloss on those lips you know wear the most beautiful blouse or the most beautiful scarf or even knit a scarf um, you know if you have thin hair 
I, I don't know, maybe like really, you know, color the ends of it purple or maybe put a purple streak in there. I don't know, just amplify what you do have. And don't follow cultural, and, um, don't follow the culture, the porn culture, the you know, airbrush culture, the filter culture. Um, um, I kind of got away from that on TikTok, and it was a lot of fun at first, playing with those filters and, you know, making yourself look like a doll, um, with, you know, thick hair and beautiful lashes and big eyes and, you know, um, poreless skin, but that's not reality. That's not what humanity is, um, is all about. And, um, uh, also a message for you guys out there who are telling women, um, like, you know, you need a, a nose job or you need, no, 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 focus on yourself. Post your picture on social media, on all the platforms, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram. Let's see your face. And let's criticize and critique your so-called flaws. Um, humanity is just made up of flaws. And that's why I encourage uh, ceasing reproduction and um, extinguishing humanity altogether. Voluntary human extinction. Because we are not going anywhere. We're, we're digging ourselves a grave. And... Um, Unless you think that you're not going to age, if that's the reason why you criticize other people, it really shows a lot of insecurity in yourself. And most of these people, regardless if they're men or women, I think they're mostly male. They hide behind the shadows of the internet and they don't show face. They're very, very insecure. Meanwhile, other people are speaking out and speaking up and trying to create change and cultural change and global change. But the trolls are just, you know, behind a computer, you know, typing away because they're so full of hate and their lives are extremely miserable and they don't help society in any way. Um, so yeah, um, that's my message for today. Uh, uh, any thoughts, um, please share below. And um, uh, personally for myself, um, I'm 62 and um, I don't wanna walk around looking 40 or 30 or 20. I don't want to look like that. I want to be treated like I'm 62. I want people to respect my vulnerabilities. And if I looked you know, 30, I would be treated differently. As it is, I don't think people assume that I'm 62. And, um, you know, I, I don't get the, uh, I don't know, the, <laughs> for lack of better words, respect. Um, somebody, you know, older would. I don't, I don't think I get the assistance that maybe an older person would. Or if they looked, you know, their, their age. But, um, you know, I want to... I want to look my age. I, I don't want, I don't want to fake being 20 or 30 or 40. No, that's, that's just phony. And, um, I mean, the best that anybody can do is to, you know, to present themselves, um, you know, in an attractive manner. And I love staying clean. Like, I am such a clean freak. And, and it really gets in the way of you know, a lot of progress, because, um, I just don't like, I just, I don't even like to sweat, okay, so, 
um, you know, I may wash a shirt after like barely wearing it. And, you know, I do multiple loads of laundry a day. Um, uh, I don't like unkept hygiene. I don't like un unkept nails. I just, you know, I mean, shaving. I like to keep, you know, shaved. And, um, and I hate sweating of any, of any kind. So that really sucks for me. <laughs> and um, life is just an uphill battle. Um, just, just trying to maintain you know, hygienic uh, a perspective, and um, I mean, it's really against nature to, you know, to keep yourself clean. It's impossible. It is an unattainable goal, but so, you know, that's one of the struggles I deal with, you know, and it's very, very hard like, on vacation. Like, I'm in Mexico right now, so I'm just going to pan around. Looking for a textile museum so um anyway cheers folks and uh I, I love your comments and um just age gracefully and you know um you've got a lot of company because everybody ages <laughs>